first question actually is from Henshaws, and that's Amanda Shaw from Godwin. I don't think she's here, is that right? Anyone from Henshaws? So I will put the question in. Um, right, so uh, Amanda sent this question in. She's from Henshaws, the Society for Blind People. And she says, how do you consult with blind and partially impaired people in terms of their sight to ensure that they're adequately represented across the programme? Yeah, and she, she sort of focused particularly local, she talked about local programming, and, as, you know, uh, and the simple answer to that is we do not consult locally with blind people to ensure adequate um, coverage of issues for blind and partially sighted people here in the North West. Uh, the way the BBC deals with um, all manner of diversity is that we have a central uh, department that deals with diversity and we have diversity policies and each department, so my department, um, has all sorts of targets and all sorts of uh, information to do with training around issues of diversity. So for instance the BBC is part of broadcasting organisations, there's a big, um, it's called Broadcast Creative Industries Disability Network and the BBC is part of that and it's a, a very important part of that obviously as uh, uh, one of the biggest broadcasters. Um, but on a sort of level of, you know, what do we do ourselves on an everyday basis, you know, I'd say that, um, you know, we did a whole series about um, uh, disability on BBC North West this year, I don't know if any of you caught it, but um, uh, basically uh, um, Lord Alf Morris, thank you, <laughs> called me, uh, this is not someone I know, but you know, I, I received his call about six months ago. Uh, from a foot, from the, he was a Withenshaw MP, as I say, I'm new to here, so he, I didn't know who he was. But he phoned me up and said, uh, I've sent you a book, uh, it's about me, uh, my name is Lord Alf Morris, I was the MP for Withenshaw for about 25 years. And he basically told me that he had uh, brought in the, the world's first, but Britain's first, uh, bill for disabled people. And that was in uh, 1970, and that it was a private members' bill. It wasn't even a, you know, it wasn't brought by any government. It was a private members' bill. And you know, he told me about that. I, I you know, sent me his book. I read it and thought, wow, that's amazing. And you know, we have management meetings with all my radio editors and TV editors. And I just sort of said, look, this guy's phoned me, um, and apparently Manchester, <laughs> you know, an MP from Manchester brought in the world's first ever disability. Bill and, it, and as you know, when, on, one of the things he said to me on the phone, which kind of caught my attention, is um, you know, he said, this was the world's first ever um, bill that gave rights to people with disabilities. And you know, today you can go to Rwanda and you've got ramps to get into buildings, but this was the first bill that ever made that possible um, and gave that right to people rather than some sort of considered privilege, you know. Um, and so we did a whole week of programming about it. We sort of said, oh, well, who can we have to front it? And someone, we'd met um, an Iraq war veteran who'd been blinded during the Iraq war, and we decided to get him to front this five-part TV series, like, not just about blind people, it was about disabilities, it was about the, the world's first disability act as well, so we talked about that. We interviewed uh, uh, Lord Morris on the politics show, and all the radio stations, so Radio Manchester and Minnesota Manchester did a week of programming about that. So I suppose what I'd say is that actually we do not formally do anything with, uh, as a part of our policy of how we operate with particular groups in the North West. But what we do as an organisation, we have an organisational structure which does take diversity really seriously. Uh, and which is great, you know, I think that's absolutely right as a public service broadcaster that we should do that. And I think the point of view the BBC comes from, which is absolutely the right point of view, is that actually everybody pays the licence fee, everybody deserves to be reflected and to feel that they have a part and a say in, you know, what the BBC is doing. And, and you know, I feel passionately about that. Um, I think we've got a long way to go in a lot of areas. Um, but having those policies within the BBC make us do things like, you know, having um, audio description on the iPlayer, it makes us have the signing on the news channel, it makes us have subtitling on nearly all of our programming now. You know, it, those policies, um, I think, you know, it, I don't know how good other broadcasters are compared to us, but I'd say it'd be probably hard-pressed to find a broadcaster that's better than us. 
but that doesn't mean we're good enough yet. And you know, one of the areas that the BBC is working on at the moment is staff representation in terms of disability. And you know, my target is five and a half percent of staff uh, who have disabilities, and I haven't reached that target. Um, it's about four and a half percent at the moment. And so that is a target for all BBC managers that we need to employ four and a half percent of our staff need to be people who have disabilities. 